Whoa! Italo's calling. Italo? Italo? Can you, you, you steal my shoes. I thought you gave them to me, the Crocs. You have to, you have to give them back now, or else I'm gonna fight. You're gonna fight me? You know jujitsu? No, I don't. Yeah, then you're not gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> So I got a new job. Really? When? <laughs> I guess that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you know the WSL? Yeah. They fired their CEO. What does that mean? Why did they? Well, I guess everyone hated the guy. His, I can't remember his name. Start off with the basics. Eric Logan, E-R-I-K-L-O-G-A-N. I asked Raglan Surf Report. He says, it's like a non-surfer comes in and he's like, all right, I got this. Yeah. We're going to make it better. Nowhere on the sort of vision board of my life did I ever think where I'm, you know, the CEO of the World Surf League. So did you ever want to surf? Never. 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 <laughs> and they know nothing and they just make it worse. Well, how can they expect him to have any idea that, like, the finger on the pulse of the surf community? Doesn't even surf. If he doesn't surf, he should have got someone. Maybe he could have been, like, a co. Right. Because maybe he is good at marketing. I think, well, I got the job. <laughs> <laughs> you did? They reached out to you? Yeah. Are you going to do it from Florida? I asked them if I could do it from home. <laughs> <laughs> CEO from home? So you would just set everything up in here, oh. and, and we'd, I just watched the live webcast. Like Metaverse, the new uh, Apple thing? Yeah, I would just watch them and be like, hmm. we need more. F we need more airs. <laughs> I heard a lot of people complaining, like, more than I've ever heard. Just about everything going on. Just about that one guy. Everyone uh, hated him. Eric Logan. Poor guy. I know. He's Where just does he live? I know. I think he's rich. So So he's not poor. He can be depressed in a nice house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be depressed on a nice vacation. I wonder what it feels like for him, like, literally an entire surf <laughs> community hates you. Yeah. <laughs> and all he wanted to do was good. They're oh. like, leave! What can they do better? Like, what's the goal? Will surfing ever get bigger? I don't think it will. I don't think it will. It's too hard. I think if it's going to get bigger, it, like, it'd have to be wave pools. It has to be, because, like, every kid and their mom has a basketball goal they can go Yeah, it's got to be something people can do. It's too expensive. 450 bucks for a wave? There's a new wave pool popping up. I think the whole tour will be wave pools. Really? Like, stadiums. Well, you saw that one clip, um, your homie Gravy. He's doing something with a truck. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah! He's getting pushed by a truck wave. Oh, he's like taking it to his own hands. Well, that's more inner city, cheaper for people to... <laughs> 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 it's cheap for more... He's starting his own tour? Yeah. It's <laughs> called Truck Surf. Soft top truck surf. Did you see it, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. But that, that's a cheaper way to do it. You get the feel of a wave. How scary is that? You could get run over, I guess. I, I don't think he really thought about that. <laughs> like, if you fall, yeah. you in a second, you get one booty gets <laughs> caught, <laughs> he's flat. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't think he should open it to the public yet <laughs> until he's got it dialed in. Who are, like, the top five right now? Me. <laughs> Ezekiel Prophet. Right. Donovan. Yep. That scared the crap out of me. What's up, bud? Are you filming? Yeah, you want to come see? Come on down here, bud. We're naming the top five surfers. <laughs> come here. Can you introduce yourself? My name's Wyatt. This is the first time I'm actually in a video. Whoa. Wow. Kind of scared. Oh. Don't be scared. But we love you. Do you want to um say a joke? Um, none of my jokes work now. We have one question for you. Are you going to be a surfer when you grow up? No. I hate surfing. <gasps> I wasn't born for surfing. I was born to for something else. You know what? Your dad said the same thing. He said he didn't want to surf. And look at me now. <laughs> He's in a van. I'm in a van. And why is he wearing a diaper? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. That was a good joke. Why is he wearing a diaper? The Duke? All right, go get your sandwich. I <laughs> not want to be in the show. Well, all right. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking a beer.
So, dude, I got a new girlfriend. Yeah? You want to see a pic of her? Yeah. Is this <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah. Her name is Stephanie Gilmore. Ooh, I know her. Yeah. Does she have an iPod Nano? She's pretty cool. She, she wear, But she wears, like, this big bracelet on her ankle. Yeah. yeah she's, like, she's like, oh, I always got to go home. <laughs> always got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> dude, she seems pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty sweet. <laughs> What's going on here? This guy's charging. What? What? You want cracks? Whoa. Whoa. Look at this. It's like the perfect. What a boot scoot. Right through his legs. <laughs> Brain injury. Poor guy. That's a good old boot scoot. Dude, you remember Tony Hawk doing the flip that he f- floop? Like a loop? Yeah, the loop. They built thing? it with the wood and he loops it? Yeah. It's dangerous. So someone did it surfing. How? Dude. They call it the freaking barrel lotus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he he got all the way. He got like 99%. Yeah. But one of the greatest dangers of the freaking barrel loops. Lotus. Is like, if you don't commit, like yeah. you will die. And he's dead. He's dead. He died. <laughs> See his head? Oh, it's he's gone. gone. He's a goner. Reef took it. <laughs> oh, oh god dude is that called lipping your kid <laughs> <laughs> lipping your kid stick him right in the lip <laughs> <laughs> so my parents when it spanked me they threw me into lips <laughs> 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 this is how parents uh spank in california <laughs> they just throw you in the lip line and let god's beautiful nature take up <laughs> That kid probably has a huge Adam's apple. He's though. never going to surf again. <laughs> <laughs> that ruined it. Dude, did you see Italo heading down to the Brazil contest? Everyone's chasing he him? He brought his whole family. Oh. So Italo's like, dude, follow me. And he's just like, doo, doo. Oh, oh, my oh. God. Look at him. He's like. <laughs> 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 so, dude. What? Did you see John Wayne Freeman? What? On Instagram? He's hitting rock bottom. Oh, no. Did he, is he soft topping? No, worse. He tried to take over the WSL job. Yeah. And they, like, hosed him down <laughs> in front. And, like, because he went streaking. He did? He thought he that ran, would ha- He ran through the office. And <laughs> he was just like, I'm taking over. Oh, no. Yeah, look. They got him? And then they took him outside <laughs> and hosed him down. <laughs> like, we got him. John. John's like, I hate Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dude, <laughs> chill out. He's like, no, I hate it. <laughs> Look at his butt cheeks. Poor guy. Why are they patting him down? He's naked. <laughs> oh, is that Eric? Yeah. <laughs> that John was attacked him. No. Uh, yeah. What are <laughs> <they> thinking? <laughs> <laughs> so there's this kid, Kai Lenny, and they're calling him the new Laird. Yeah. <laughs> Check him out. Let's see. He's gorgeous. Whoa. Whoa. I can't look away. Oh, my God. Whoa! So much man juice. Dude. Holy! So Kai's killing it. So Kai Lenny, like, they're all saying he's the new Laird and he grew his hair out. Yeah. And, like, his muscles are bulging like a miss. <laughs> 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 so, freaking, I went to drive by Kelly's wave pool. Yeah? Where? In Cali? Yeah. And, dude, I think he turned <laughs> on the jets hard. What happened? <laughs> like, I was going to just go check it out. And he, Kelly, like, turned on the throttle boosters. <laughs> He's like, here he comes. Go. <laughs> Turn him on. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he turned the wave pool up on high. So Kelly knew you were in town to check out the wave pool. <laughs> he saw my car. He saw my PT Cruiser coming. <laughs> He's like, Turn it up. <laughs> Turn the train on high. <laughs> and he doused you. <laughs> Dude, I bet some people died there. Yeah, my PT Cruiser won't drive the same. <laughs> So, you know how I had that idea to start surf licenses? Yeah. People like it. It's going great, but this one guy wouldn't follow the rules. Yeah. And we had Uncle Braden take him. Ooh, the helicopter. So, he did, he didn't get the surf license. Right. Look, he's mocking us. I was in the helicopter. I'm like, hey, you got to follow the rules. <laughs> and then we had Uncle Braden chase him. And he's like, Phew. He's like no, I won't get the surf license. <laughs> And freaking un- Uncle Braden's like, you know the rules. 
<laughs> Dude. So this is freaking Uncle Braden freaking wrestling this boogie boarder. Just because he didn't have a license. Yeah. We're serious, dude. <laughs> so we're spinning around, and then we're going to grab your hip on your knees. Locks, locks, and loaded. Wiggle the hip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So a lot of this. <laughs> Does that help? Like they could have <laughs> stayed at home with pillows and just done on their couch. Like, <laughs> well, it's like this. This is a, this is a thing I've been thinking about with all these surf training stuff. It's like telling a guy like we're gonna learn how to golf, but we're not going to a golf course, <laughs> and we're not giving you a golf club. It's like. Like here's some freaking mittens and yeah, like you have to go learn to do this in water. So, but it's like, how can we make money? Let's get some pads. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brainwashing technique. But I, if I was a kid that wanted to learn to body slam or whatever they're doing, I'd be like, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> I know they trick you. They trick you, man. You just have to go out there. It's like we're gonna. T- I'm gonna teach you how to play basketball, but we ain't gonna go play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Come over to my gym. There's no balls. It's just me and my wife named Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like we got brewskis. And <laughs> the only way to learn is to go in the water. You have to do it. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. So, dude. What? Did you hear about the freaking layered gasm? <laughs> <laughs> right when you said it. That's the clip. That's what happened. <laughs> when Laird <laughs> shoots his juice, it's dangerous. <laughs> but he only does it like once a decade. Once a decade. <laughs> and um, when it, like, watch the frick out. So, dude. What? Whoa. The Catch Surf Soft Hopper gang, they're on. They're, they were chasing me. Is that you? Who's They're that trying to take me out. Who's that on the bike with you? That's Kalani. I'm trying to rescue him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, bring him back. I was like, no, I won't bring him back. <laughs> I was trying to take him hardboarding. Oh. And freaking there, it's, it, he's in deep. So do you think they they actually have him kidnapped as a, because why would he be doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how many times in life this almost happens to us and right. we don't even know it. Right. Driving down the road. <laughs> That was, and then we was like, you know what? <laughs> Actually, I would, I do want to make the mistakes in life. And life goes. <laughs> Dude, that is a good metaphor. Like if he would have just kept going and trusted in right. life. But he didn't. He turned back. This clip is like going viral right now. This kid's insane. On a, He's on a piece of wood. I wonder where he's from. Is this it's Africa? In, it's in Africa. Italo wrote on a comment, I want to send them boards. Oh, really? That's and other cool. And other people were like, we're sending boards too. The more the merrier. That's cool. Yeah. This kid's ready. We need He's to on a freaking piece of wood. I know. Everyone's so spoiled in America. He literally is just a piece of wood and he's, he's shredding. He's shredding better than anyone. Dude, have you seen this guy do this kick flip? Boom. Ooh. It's a finger flip. That's pretty insane. Whoa. So clean. So Sean Slater's better than Kelly. <laughs> this is Sean. That's Sean. What? People don't know about yeah. his brother. Yeah, because Sean could have done way better than Kelly. Everyone knows that. But he is too busy doing kickflips. Yeah, <laughs> he focused on finger flips. <laughs> That's super cool. Right. But it, it's like you waste so many waves to do it. Five hundred waves to land it. Well, like riding a wave, for some people, is like a magical ride. Right. So if all you're thinking about is one trick, you really forget about a lot it's just like (laughs) did you see the footage of laird as a baby i heard about it have you seen it no but they found they unearthed it yeah (laughs) (laughs) this is laird as a baby he's already training look at him he had a little skateboard under him he's like (laughs) that's not fair so he's been training from birth he's never gonna die look at laird go they He's so cute. I guess I guess they put superfoods in his uh, mother's milk. Yeah, his breast milk. Yeah, they put like a uh, layered superfood creamer in it. Hmm. And that's how he freaking started I training. I heard so he now. used to nurse off manatees. Manatees. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're setting it on like expert level. Like <laughs> <laughs>
Level 10. Hey, level 7. Here we go. She's Whoa. like, oh my gosh, I gotta put my... Whoa! Whoa, he's paddling. Whoa! He can take his socks Whoa, off. Whoa, look how excited he is. Look at his friend. He's like, oh my god, she can do it too. It's just a bench. I know, It's a dude. wiggly bench. It's Cracker Barrels. Dude, what is going on with this generation? They don't even have to surf anymore. No, this is it. That's genius. Because then we don't need to yeah. surf anymore. <laughs> You get the same high from this. Right. That's what they say. It's from the lacquer. Is this surf school? This is my surf school. Dude. So everyone's getting good really fast. Look. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm re they're really picking up the technique fast. All of them. Look at them. They, they're all catching on. <laughs> so are they not allowed to stand up at this part? Well. This is just paddle training? Of, well, <laughs> instead of giving them wax, yeah. I gave them baby lotion. <laughs> It makes it harder. Right. So I want I want them to like experience the hardest way possible first. So everybody's slipping around like crazy. So yeah. So I made like a baby lotion wax <laughs> and they're all just like. <laughs> and if anyone did stand up, I'd be like, that's the chosen one. And we'd send them to the Lotus training. To, did you hear about Kelly's moon shoes? They're not really taking off. Yeah. So he's like, go Kelly's going out. He's so competitive. He's going out in the streets and just handing <laughs> coupons out. But people don't want them. And he's like, take them. <laughs> Dig it now. She's like, no. <laughs> he's like, you want a coupon? From yeah, yeah. You can take it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you better day it. Uh, yeah. They look so scared. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to probably start selling some sandals. Oh, all those people are for sure going to buy it. Some flip flops. <laughs> Where is Ellen degenerate? Dude, Ellen's kind of been hiding out. I heard she's seagull surfing. <laughs> she has not, like, no one likes her anymore. So now right. she just, like, entertains seagulls. <laughs> she's like, you get some bread and you get some bread. <laughs> she's happy, though. I mean, she's happier than ever. And she's making, s like, think about how happy these seagulls are. Right. So Ellen has lost it. She's lost it all. She's very modest. She's super modest. <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly's mad at me. What happened? Did you see his girlfriend's friend, sister? Yeah. She wrote something kind of mean. What's she saying? She said, this is not even funny, and your obsession with Kelly is just weird. What? <laughs> <laughs> is it an obsession, or is, is this me just documenting my life? Right. Because the struggles are real. Right. People don't get it. I think she doesn't understand me and Kelly are battling. Right. And he doesn't even know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he does. He's always playing mind games. Right. Like, I posted that one post and he didn't say anything. Right. Which one? The slappies? Yeah. <laughs> like, that. he's playing mind games. He's you know he wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> I bet he commented a couple and deleted them. I w he has burner accounts for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you see, like, no followers, private. Yeah. yeah. That's Kelly's burner account. <laughs> Anyone that's private is Kelly. Comments are weird because they can be very uplifting and extremely mean. And it's people <laughs> that literally don't exist in your world. I like the negative comments, to yeah. be honest. Why? It just makes it fun. Yeah. What if everything was just... They are fun. They can get you riled up, though, a little bit. I feel like the f fat comments are the only ones that get me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I stop myself. I'm like, <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, whenever when someone says I'm fat, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I like the comments that are clearly from an alcoholic because they're usually <laughs> like at 11 or 12 o'clock at night. They're super long. There's like too many R's in the <laughs> in the <laughs> And they kind of make sense, and then it's like, burp, burp, deep, burp, and you're like, oh my gosh, and you just keep <laughs> me. <laughs> Should we talk about Sterling and you and Kelly, and like, for once and for all, clear the air? What? She, that you actually like Kelly. As a Florida man, he's a Florida man. Can we clear the air once and for all? I hate him. <laughs> you <laughs> do? <laughs> this is what I think. All right. Dish it. I think Kelly's so competitive. Yeah. He doesn't realize I'm loving him. Hmm. His, his, he can't see straight? <laughs> Me, like, making jokes with him, mm -hmm. of him, mm -hmm. 
to us, it's an honor. Right. But to him as a, a world champion battler, <laughs> it's like he can't turn off that side of the brain. Right. And just look, we're just two dudes mm. like in love. <laughs> Getting not track so yeah we had that comment from kelly's sister's sister <laughs> or something <laughs> kelly's sister's brother's auntie yeah. and it was kind of like this isn't funny but it's clearly funny it's funny it's like if someone says farts aren't funny they're funny <laughs> <laughs> i feel like we've been asking kelly to do a skit yeah. anything yep my whole life and he hasn't done one thing so we just have to make it up. That's why we keep doing it. <laughs> I feel like if he joined the party. Right. Maybe it wouldn't feel at him. Right. We're laughing with him. Yeah. We're never laughing at him. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I try and imagine if I was doing this to Michael Jordan. Yeah. Like how would he act? Because I feel like Kelly's very similar to Michael Jordan. Do you yeah. watch that documentary? Yeah. Like, Michael Jordan, like, all his teammates hated him. He yeah. would, like, punch them. and It's, like, the famous thing. Everything was personal. Yeah, it's, so like, I took it an ultimate competitor has to live in a different realm. Right. Where he, it's almost, like, over dramatic everything. Mm. So, I feel like it's the same thing when we're joking. It's, like, it's taken, like, he's, like, all right, let's play. <laughs> like let me use this for fuel but it's oh. like he's running it's running out <laughs> he's, <on> <laughs> <laughs> he's running out of fuel so we're keeping him alive well i think remember when i said when kelly dies like i hope i'm there so he's like you're right yeah and his deathbed i think when he's dying when the ego is like when you die the ego falls away from your body for like the f yeah the last second and yeah. i think he's gonna be like Oh, and then I get it, and he's like <sighs> on his death board, and then he does one last one. <laughs> <laughs> tries to joke you. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. He, he's he's at one with the world, and then <laughs> one last. <laughs> he, <laughs> his ego just, <laughs> and you're like, ah, Kelly, no. When you were younger, as a Flor kid growing up in Florida, mm. and Kelly's from Florida, so it's like this thing, like we're Florida homies, but it, it oh, didn't. I worshipped him. Exactly. He had uh, these flowered trunks mm -hmm. that he wore in one of his movies, and I got the same pair, because I was on Quicksilver for like a month once. <laughs> yeah. And I remember wearing them, I was like... And you felt Kelly's energy. I was just like... I was starting to get tan like him, I'm like, whoa... <laughs> I was looking at my tan skin and my flower trunks. I'm like, <laughs> Kelly. So you looked up to him. Oh, yeah. So that's what I th want people to hear. I remember I stood in this line to get his autograph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I was the first in line. Yeah. I stood there for like an hour. He finally comes. and I'm like, he was just on Baywatch. Ooh. So I, to me, that was sick. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, he's like tan. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in the first in line and he knows my brother. Yeah. And my brother's like, Tell him you 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 know him <laughs> me <laughs> Oh, tell him your brother told you to tell him, like, tell him you're my yeah, brother. Yeah. So I'm super scared. He gets there and I'm like, Oh, my brother's Yancey and he's like, Oh cool. He's like <laughs> <laughs> and, like the pen hit me. <laughs> 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 and that was my first encounter. And from then on, did you, did it kind of ruin it for you? Like never meet your heroes kind of thing? No, I still loved them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to me, Kelly was like untouchable yeah. until I surfed ag against him. Whoa. And that's when it changed because I took a photo with him when I was younger in Hawaii. Yeah. So like uh, I remember a bunch of us Groms, we were going to take a, an American photo. The magazine was doing like America issue. All the Americans. <laughs> And I remember all of us kids are, <laughs> we hear Kelly's going to come. We're like, oh, my God. Yeah. And he finally comes. And we're all just like, we're all like staring at like 20 of us. Like, <laughs> he's and he, he like was so us. nervous. He's like, hey. <laughs> and he like just sat in front of us like this. <laughs> <laughs> we're all like sitting behind him. He's just like, oh, hey. 
go ahead. And it, so that was an American. They took one picture. It was like, <laughs> and he was like, all right, see ya. <laughs> Dude, so he didn't even like, what's up, guys? Uh, I think we scared him because yeah. we're all like. Too many. Kelly? That's hilarious. So then. Um, it's kind of downhill from there. Well, when I s- was going to surf against them, yeah. everything changed. Like oh, everyone yeah. was like. They had a story about Kelly, how he tricked them, or he tied their shoelace, or... Whoa. Like, he was like a bully, kind of. He was like this, just like Michael Jordan, like in the yeah. documentary, you know, how he picked on people right. and said, called them names. Mind games. So, he'd walk up in this white wetsuit. Right. And Andy was like, dude, I told you. Yeah. He's trying to get in our heads. Andy <laughs> 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 And Kelly... He had this wetsuit, like, handmade his crotch bigger. Whoa. Whoa. Like, I'm not sure. Like, either his dong is huge or he's stuffed. Right. But he would walk around the competitor's area, (laughs) and you'd be sitting there, and you'd be like. (laughs) Just eating an apple? (laughs) Just like. "Mm -hmm." Yeah. And the bulge would be almost hitting you in the (laughs) face, and you're like, whoa. (laughs) So he's like a mastermind. And when he would sit on his board at. It made it kind of like scratchy <laughs> on the edges. <laughs> it was like this big. So he had like he a would f- be like, <laughs> <laughs> and he never said anything. Like he would walk right next to you and be like, <sighs> and you just be like, oh my god, he's tan. <laughs> the tan really white wetsuit through you. So that's when I went from like little kid worship right. to like. Um, whoa, this guy is, like, intense. Right. Just like Michael Jordan. And, like, he's out to get me. (laughs) And I'm just like, whoa, this is crazy. He's, like, he's not mean. He's just competing at all times. Right. And that's what was bizarre. Because everyone else on tour was, like, drunk, like, furly, furly, furly. Or, like, kissing each other on the forehead. Yeah, "Yeah." just happy go lucky. And then Kelly Wogan, he's like, Like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be like drinking out of shoes, like yeah. and looking at him like <laughs> he's like I haven't drank a beer in <laughs> thirty seven years. <laughs> so he was just always on. So th- it then because Andy beat him three years in a row. <sighs> that must have stuck. And then it was the fourth year he was going for. But Andy was kind of losing his edge. Mm. So that's when Kelly was always playing mind games with him. And yeah. so that's when I did the blog stuff and I printed out. Yeah. What's funny, it's not even a bad. I printed out just a picture of his face on a seagull body. Right. But we sat it next to his table. And I remember him walking up like, what is this? He grabbed it. He's like, <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was bo- he was like head boss of the the tour, you and know. And he's like, <laughs> and Andy's like, <laughs> we got him, <laughs> dude. And he was a big kid, right? I feel like all servers were just stoners and drunks, right? And Kelly was so far ahead; he was like doing. He's like the cross athletic science taking yeah. all these supplements and he was so far <laughs> ahead <laughs> like all of us are like drink all the shoe yeah like we we're just like we're surfing this is sick there's some pro skaters like that that are super like workout health and they're gonna skate forever and these skater dudes that smoke cigarettes all day and they're gonna be gone yeah like he was smart and we were all idiots <laughs> well i think people are just born with that like you said, like a serial killer brain. <laughs> 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 like if Kelly didn't have surfing, like he'd probably be in jail. <laughs> he'd probably be like a sniper or something. Hmm. Like he would sit on like on top of a building and like <laughs> <laughs> a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll kill him down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanted to clear the air. You look up. You looked I love up. The Kelly. You love Kelly, and we're this is our sense of humor. So if you don't think it's funny. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we love Kelly. Ple- right. want, we just want him 
to join in. Yeah, have fun like with us. Just this. once. Jump in, the water's fine. It's been 20 years of this. <laughs> <laughs> like, just come on in. All right. I want to brag on my wife real quick. She's six and a half months pregnant, and she caught a few waves the other day. No way. It was six. It's funny because there's all these other moms on the beach, like, not moving a muscle. They're not even pregnant. They're not pregnant. <laughs> and I heard this one mom go, or this one kid said to his mom, he's like, Mom, look. She's <laughs> pregnant and serving, and you're just laying here. She's, she's proactive. <laughs> but I want to. Bree can still shred at six and a half months pregnant. That's she's saying she's kicking butt. Was she riding my board? She was riding the oh, a bigger uh, board, the big sweet potato. Mm, your board, my board. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it. No, she because uh, it was a small day and it was easy for her to just pop, 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 pop. I tried to surf, but dude, I hate surfing out there. Oh, it's where? In the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> Florida, dude, is so hard. They close out, and you, <laughs> you have to be a ninja to catch waves out there. You can't be like a chubby, happy guy. It looks fine. Guy. It's like, <laughs> like, I was like, All of a sudden, your <laughs> foot is hitting you in the back of the head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you have to be able to pop up in a milli moment. And yeah. like, I need like six, seven, eight seconds to <laughs> pop up. Yeah, in California, you can be like, on your stomach, you're like, whoa, <laughs> exactly. whoa, hold on. And you <laughs> yeah, you get up. You have time to think here. You have to be like, I don't get it. Yeah, it's so hard to learn in the goal. I know. So why didn't anyone tell me that when I was a kid? If you would have learned sooner, it would have been easier. Yeah, but I always thought like, oh, I can't surf. I suck. And I was like, oh, I went to Mexico and I caught like 30 waves and it was easy. I wasn't good, but I could do it. Why didn't you come surf with us when you were a kid? I don't know. Your dad not let you? I skimboarded. <laughs> My dad didn't. I n yeah, why did I never come like with you and your dad? Maybe your dad. I bet my dad asked your dad a he million said, times. Oh, I bet. And my dad was probably like, no, nah, you don't like it. And <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like I want to go. He closes our. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. We just uh, s some football player just died right here on our beach. Was he an NFL quarterback? His name is Ryan. I can't remember how you say his last name. Mallet or Malay. Thirty-five year old just got sucked out and died. What team did he play for? couple different teams but people keep dying out there dude the golf is no joke i know the football the football players are too much muscle yeah like when a current gets you you're you're dunsies you just have to relax you just have to float right here's how not to die yeah let's hear this all you have to do is breathe because when you breathe in you fill up a knot with oxygen and you float you just you can just go but what happens is, guys, is everyone starts panicking. When you start going, <laughs> yeah, and I then you go. <laughs> 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 well, Blue Angel Weekend, let me tell the story real quick. It's Blue Angel Weekend, hundreds and hundreds of people all around. Me and my friend Mike Witt, he, um, we see this guy, and there's like this nine foot deep right off the beach, like 20 feet off the beach, super deep section. And I see this guy kind of acting weird, and I'm like, what is he doing? And I'm, it's only me, only I noticed him. And I look over, and I'm like, I elbowed my buddy and i'm like i think that guy's drowning and he was just like quiet y'all are like looking down at him. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just kind of acting weird and so we swam out we grabbed his shoulders brought him in and he i think if we didn't grab him right then he would have gone under and everyone's like farley farley you know no, and he would have died in front of hundreds of people and it's like how does that happen so be careful out there all you have to do <laughs> is go and relax and hold it right and then <sighs> and just okay. note just, I think people are scared to get sucked out, too. They think they, right the second they go out, a shark is going to eat them. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's, sharks aren't just waiting out there. <laughs> You'll be okay. Swim parallel and come back home. The trick is to swim where the waves are breaking. Really? Because it's pushing Cause you Because it back. pushes you in. Oh. And people try to get away from the waves, and, and then, then they're out there. Yeah, they get sucked out. So are surfers jocks? I always thought when I was a kid, surfers were just jocks that like to eat granola. The ones on tour are. They're jocks. Mm. They like slap each other's butts. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, whoosh, like they have like players. handshakes now. Did you see oh, that? Oh, really? They're like, pew, meow, pew, 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 like pew, NBA players. Like, meow. how do they keep that? I can only have like one secret handshake in my life and I'll barely remember with it. Brie. <laughs> no, with like one of my <laughs> kids. I can. Okay. I remember. You see these NBA players, they have like hundreds of them. They see a guy they haven't seen in months, and they're like... Well, think about it. They just stand around in gyms all day. <laughs> 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 That's true. So they're like... They're so bored, like... Yeah. All day long, they're just like... <laughs> they just walk around the skull, like... <laughs> and they're like, let's do a handshake. Yeah, I'm they're bored. so bored. They're like... <laughs> Think about it, like with kids, paddywhack. <laughs> they sit there and they make up a handshake. I guess it helps them. I don't. Yeah, what's the point of it? I think it's just like bonding. 
Mm. Like a good team, it's all about bonding. Yeah. I feel like to find a good wife, she needed to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Play, like, sports in high school? Because a marriage, everything goes out the window. Like, all my tricks to make them like me right. mean nothing right. in a marriage. Yeah, because they're, like, sick Like, the it. guitar and, like, <laughs> my beard trimmed and, like, <laughs> it means nothing. When you get married, then they're, like. Yeah, they look at you as another player in the team. It's all about uh, the team <laughs> is the only thing that matters is, is everything flowing. Right. And then they're, like, maybe I'll have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> but so at the yeah. beginning, like I'll just be on my skateboard. They're like, "Oh my gosh!" Like <laughs> he's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can play that. That's crazy. And then you try to do it when you're married, and they're like, "Shut up!" It's so <laughs> annoying. So last <laughs> but week, then you do the dishes, and they're like, "Wow, yeah. well, you're pretty hot." <laughs> Yeah, I remember one time I fixed a fence at our house, and my wife was like, you looked hot in that hat. And I was like, I wear that hat every day. <laughs> She's like, oh, dang, you look good. Uh, yeah, they like it when you fix stuff. So last week you were talking about kind of wanting to marry a tree or something. <laughs> Is there anything new to that for our viewers? <laughs> Update. Me and the tree are happily married. <laughs> Sterling got married to a tree. I actually got to a fight with someone. A tree? No. Oh. Over a tree. Really? <gasps> Were they trying to cut it down or something? So my neighbor, my neighbors are like people that they don't go outside really. Yeah. And if they are, they're like raking or they're always working on their yards. Okay. So they don't go outside, but they're always out there. <laughs> 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 like they don't uh, go exploring do activities in uh, nature, okay. but they're always doing yard work. They're always doing yard work. I hate those kind of people. But this tree was messing up. A wall of theirs in the, their backyard. A wall? So, like, messing the fence up or something? There's... So, connected to the fence is this, like, wall okay. that connects to a, like, a overhang. Okay. So, the... I mean, there's this huge tree. <laughs> huge. As big as they get. Just yeah. beautiful over both of our houses. Like, shade birds. Yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, my van's cuddled yeah, under shade. there. And I, like, pet the tree every day. <laughs> <laughs> so one day he comes out, and he's like, hey, hey, look. And he shows me his phone, and the tree's, like, pushing one brick out. It's like, <laughs> and I'm like, "It's yeah, it's pushing the brick. He's like, we're going to have to take it down. I'm like, <laughs> what? You got this? mad? Oh, I got so mad. I was mm -hmm. cursing. Really? I'm like, well, you're going to kill this tree over bricks? Yeah. Like, can we just move the bricks over? Yeah. Just, like, two feet? Mm. And, like, people with their yards. Oh, it's headed. It's like, he can't think about this beautiful living tree that will be here when you're gone. Right. And before we were here, it's like, all you can think about is, like, these bricks. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't even, like, I don't do a lot, and I... I have a window that I can see that part of their yard, and they're never over there. Right. Why do you care you're never <laughs> over there? Priorities. It's people with their yards. When I drive around town, like on my bike, people in their yards, they're just like. Uh, we like, talk about this a lot, I think because we both could give a crap about <laughs> a yard. Well, imagine if everyone put that time into each other, right. like helping each other. Yeah. like Instead of sitting in their <laughs> yard all day. <laughs> 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 it's true dude there's so many like even just it sounds like we're, well, we're kind of a hypocrite but there's so many things locally you can do to help like homeless people and kids and this and that and like inner each city, other each other and everyone just spends every waking moment of their life like edging and trimming in their yards that or their phone well that too yeah but when i had my brain injury literally no one <laughs> came to help me because they're working on their yards. <laughs> <laughs> no. I saw them. Like, I couldn't walk. I'm like... They're like... Mm. They're like... One minute. Mm. Yeah. What... <laughs> what I learned during my brain injury is, like, when you are handicapped, the world is a rough place. Right. Like, you just feel... Like, when you can't do anything and you need help for everything, like going to the bathroom, you need help going anywhere, like everyone just forgets about you. It's just like, right. and they're just doing like, you see them, they're on their phone. Like 
It's yeah. like they you just get forgotten about in a Dude. second. The, Rick Gervais did a Netflix series about like nursing homes, and it's the, it's all about that, like how once people get older too, like kind of connecting that with yeah. people that are, and it's, it's just forgotten people, and then they're just dying, and no one's like later. Yeah, you can't keep up, so bye. <laughs> yeah, we're moving on. Bye, grandma. I used to go to nursing homes as a kid with our church and you would sit there and these people are so cool and they like have all these stories, but everyone's like, go, 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 go. Cause you need, like no <laughs> go one die. wants to <laughs> <laughs> go die, go, go die. Give us your money when you're dead. Yeah. It's sad. My dad was always probably one of the, his best qualities was giving his time to like the sick and suffering. Mm. Like every day he would go see someone. Did he really? I didn't know that. That was probably like his greatest quality. Um, he liked to kind of connect. With he people. went and saw our nanny um, almost every day. Nanny Rice. Mm, yeah. Like he was so good with Oma. Like uh, he had all these people. Like there was a guy who was paralyzed from surfing. He would mm, go Tom. visit him all the time. Um, he would give kids around town clothes of mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, those are my Hawaiian shorts. So, like, uh, he was great at that. Hmm. But I feel like as our day and age is moving along, we're just, we're all just, like, stuck to our phones. I know, and yeah. what's next? And, yeah, it was a huge reality check. Like, when I'm 100%, huh. like, I just want to be helping people because, like, y- it's so crazy when you're in that position. Hmm. Like, it's just, when you sit in a room for years. Hmm. (laughs) Sounds terrible. Your mind is like, you need touch and connection and laughs. You need someone to come and help. And you realize how connected we are and how we really need each other. But Hmm. when you're healthy and it doesn't matter, you can just drive around like, I'm looking at my phone eight hours a day. Going on my Netflix and microwave my dinner. (laughs) Wow. Sorry about that tangent. No, I like it. Yeah, I was listening to, like, Theo Vaughn talking. (laughs) And he was saying the same thing. Like, he's like, we're losing connection, (laughs) 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 y'all. We need to care about each other. Yeah. It is crazy, dude. You look at, like, screen time and how much you actually spend on this thing. And I was telling my kid, I was like, I've looked at this more than I've looked at you. (laughs) And you're my kid. It's so addicting. It's so addicting, dude. Like right now, I want to just look (laughs) at it. (laughs) I'll wake up in the morning and like two hours ago, I'm like, ah. I know. I heard this guy say the other day, he's trying to not look at his phone for the first hour. And I'm like, I can't do it for the first 30 seconds. (laughs) I'm like. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you wake up and you're like. (laughs) Whoa. Italo's calling. Italo? Yeah. Whoa. Italo? Italo? Is that you? Uh, Oh, yeah. Hello? What are you doing, dude? Fuck you, you, you steal my shoes. I thought you gave them to me, the Crocs. That was not that good of you to do. <laughs> you okay, dude? E- yeah. <laughs> do you, do you, you, do you still have them? Yeah, I have the Crocs, but you said I could have that them. Was, that was, that was my favorite shoe. Whoa. Really? Yeah. For sure, you have to you have to give them back now, or else I'm gonna fight. You gonna fight me? You know jujitsu? No, I don't. Yeah, then you're not gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> he, you gave him to him, dude. Yeah, that was I was drunk, so I did not mean to give them. I thought he was uh, someone else. You said that you were Jackie Johnson. <laughs> well, I wrote banana pancakes for Jack Johnson. Jackie Johnson. Yeah, but that was that was a really good song. <laughs> can I just when I come to Hawaii this year, can I just give them back, or do you need them now? For for right now. I mean, I guess I could come to Brazil. Can I stay yeah, with can you? you? Come. Yeah, you can stay with me in Brazil. Is there like a dress code? <laughs> yeah, you have to. Most people they wear the uh, the bikinis. Ooh. I'm I'm wearing the bikini right now. This is super feel good. <laughs> <laughs> feel super good in the cocky region. <laughs> <laughs> cocky region. The cockety region. <laughs> the 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cocky region is like super duper good here for the the bikini. So you're so good. <laughs> cocky region. You you guys wear the 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 bikini right now? No. <laughs> I mean, I could pick up some bikinis on my way to the airport. You you can you come Brazil if you wear the bikini stairs. Could I borrow some of yours? No, this is for me. You take too much of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about uh, the CEO getting fired? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He was, he wasn't, he wasn't that good. So, yeah, he's a job. So they take his job away. He was uh, okay, but he was creepy. Really? What he do to you? He, he, he paddle. He paddled up to me and one time he tickled my foot. Really? Ugh. And yeah, but it was, it was okay. I did notice you haven't won a contest since I t took your Crocs. Yeah, that was, that was my good lucky charm. Well, I'll grab seven bikinis for a week in Brazil in the Crocs. Yeah, for sure. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 fuck, yeah. Are you okay? Oh, oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Are you pooping? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Italo. Italo. Are you okay? Hello? Are you okay? Sorry about that. I have so much passion. <laughs> wow. Uh. So you, like, pooped? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, freaking it's. I guess I gotta go. I gotta get to the airport. Is he gonna get the dreads back? Are you gonna grow your hair back out? Yeah, I wanted to look like a. I wanted to do the same haircut as Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler who? Looks super good yesterday. Tyler yeah. who? Or oh, Tyler Allen. Oh, Who's he? Yeah, I know he's, that guy. he's super funny. He has the best hair. So you can tell he has, yeah, a lot of passion. Okay, Edelo, I've got the Crocs. I've got seven bikinis, <laughs> and I'll be at the airport soon. And yeah. Ryan's gonna take me in the church van. <laughs> I'll bring the freaking Crocs if you could wire me some money. Well, that's easy. Because of your sure. OnlyFans. Yeah, I only have a fans. <laughs> <laughs> They don't, nobody don't like me because I, I am the world champ. Oh. I'm only, only fans. Oh. All right, dude. I, I got to get off the phone like or I'm not going to catch this plane. Mucho, mucho, mucho prazer. Obrigado, Deus. Porra, caralho. Caro. Sterling, te amo. Muchas. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. You hung up on <laughs> <laughs> What was he saying? Dude, you're not getting on that plane. You'll not come back. <laughs> I don't know. Wearing those bikinis sounds pretty good. <laughs> Are you still filming? Yeah, come here. Wyatt's going to close us out. Can anyone see me? So, Wyatt, how old are you? Seven. How long have you been surfing? Uh, zero. Ooh. What do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know yet. What's your favorite sport? I don't know. Wow, this is going great. <laughs> Who's your favorite server? He's pointing at you. <laughs> Who's your favorite server? You got lucky. Who's your least favorite server? Kelly Slater. <laughs> well, you made me say that. <laughs> Wyatt, are you regular foot or goofy foot? We what? What was the question again? Who's your favorite girl surfer? Kelly Slater. Why? What's the one surfer that probably should retire? Kelly Slater. Oh, really? Who's your favorite dad? Kelly Slater. Can you say goodbye to everyone? Bye. Tell them to come back next week. Come back next week. How's it? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch my salt. <laughs>